Okay, so I just found maybe my new favorite thing of like all time. My, why is it so glitchy right now? I don't know why my camera is so glitchy. Wait. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm sorry about that. I found maybe my new favorite thing, okay? That's what I have to say. And this is just like, what about a top all time? I didn't have eggs. So you know how oftentimes there's a recipe. You need to you need to do the recipe to get it correct. Well, these people, these people just don't get it. Reviews by people who don't follow the recipe then complains that it sucks. Basically, they make the recipe bad by changing it themselves and then it's it's bad and they're, they complain about it and give bad reviews for changing it when they weren't supposed to. Anyways, Jessica, I don't like peaches so I can substitute it with carrots. It wasn't very good and it needs more sweetness. Maybe that's why you need peaches to, is they're, they're sweet and carrots they're really not that sweet. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. Okay, this guy just substituted like the entire thing. What? <laughs> Tofu for steak. That's not even close. Corn pops for potatoes. That's not really close either. And dandelions instead of jalapeno. Okay, that's not like, what are you expecting? What What do you like? Still give it a five star though. I mean, hey, listen, listen. It, five stars, fair enough. All right. I noticed there were no eggs in this recipe. So I added one. What a disappointment. Maybe, maybe there weren't supposed to be eggs in it. Like, look, look at how gross that looks. Oh my God. That is disgusting. Like, just do what the recipe tells you to do. It's really not that hard, people. I don't know. I, I had someone who can't cook. If I follow the recipe, I get some pretty good food. I don't know. This one is so funny. One star by Kathy. Haven't tried. I mean, four people found it helpful, so I don't, listen. I'm not one to, to judge people, right? If you find that helpful, good for you. I don't, I don't know. This one is really funny to me. Um, this is probably for like a recipe. It probably says in the name, bacon or like a ranch thing or a bacon and ranch thing, I don't know. And then this person comments, they probably haven't even made it. Not everyone likes bacon or ranch. Those are my two most hated flavors. Then why even bother looking at the recipe? Don't try it, it's that simple, duh. Like on it, like why would you, a lot of people do this on the internet where they feel a need to talk about stuff that they don't have to talk about. Or like, it seems like they don't even want to talk about it, right? Like, you don't have to talk about this. You don't have to comment on this. Like, you, you can you can exist. You can be fine. It's, it's, it's okay. You don't constantly have to be having a voice. It's okay. You can, you know, if other people enjoy it, they can enjoy it. If you don't, don't talk about it. It's really that simple, I feel like. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, I don't know. That, that's probably going to end it. Um... I just wanted I just wanted to share this little part of the internet with you guys. I I think it's awesome. Um I saw the title to this and I wanted to fire. My son, 19 years old, was heating the oil in a cast iron pan with the lid on it. When he took the lid off, the oil flashed. He popped the lid back on right away, which stopped the fire, but that quickly it had melted. That's not English. Okay. We went out for burgers that night, aired out the house, and just baked the chicken in the next day. Be careful. This recipe can be dangerous. Dude, that's like any recipe. What? That's really funny. Okay, I'm sorry. I was going to end the video. Um, all right, bye. Subscribe!